One of these has the marketability to help you get a job. The other has the potential to teach you the skills that you actually need to be effective on the job. Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is Zach from IT Career Questions. And if you haven't yet, please like, subscribe, all of that fun stuff that you're supposed to do on the YouTube that helps the algorithm or whatever. But enough with that, let's go on with the video. Today, we're talking about the Google Cybersecurity Certificate versus CompTIA Security Plus. When it comes to actually learning cybersecurity, especially if you're just starting out, the Google Cybersecurity Certificate might actually give you a better learning experience than the CompTIA Security Plus. And so when we're talking about some of the key differences here between these two, going through an understanding from a fundamental level that the Security Plus certification is an exam. That's all it is. It does not contain any, I'm going to repeat this again so you can really understand this. The CompTIA Security Plus does not come with any training at all whatsoever. So right now, the price of that certification is around $400 or so. And this is in 2025. That is just the price that it takes to go and take the exam to potentially pass the certification. The biggest difference with the Google Cybersecurity Certificate is that you achieve that certificate by going through the training materials that Coursera and Google offer to you. So you don't really go through an exam per se, you're going through a learning experience. And once you complete that learning experience, you are certified that you've completed that learning objective. And that's the biggest difference that I could kind of sum up in the simplest ways between the Security Plus certification versus the Google Cybersecurity Certificate. I started this video off saying that one of these has much better marketability. And what we mean by that is that's a certification, something that you can achieve that will be looked at, that will be seen by everybody in the industry, and they will have a very good understanding of what that certificate. But overall, what you see, especially with Security Plus, is that there are a lot of organizations, businesses, even government that require people have that certification. So from a marketability standpoint, it's seen everywhere, it's known everywhere, it's required from a lot of different organizations. So getting that certification definitely puts you in a step towards the right direction and getting into this field or getting into a cybersecurity role. The Google Cybersecurity Certificate, however, does not have as many job postings. The Security Plus, they're sitting at around, I don't know, five, 6,000, 7,000 plus job postings typically on average every month. The Google Certificate, however, they're averaging around 1,000 or so uh, job listings asking for that certif certificate every month. So there's a huge well, I mean, I would say that's a pretty huge, you know, disparity there between the two. Uh, maybe not huge, but it's pretty significant, you know, when, when it comes down to it, when in organizations asking for specific um, uh, certifications or certificates, if you will, you, you see that CompTIA definitely takes the W there. Like there's many more jobs they're looking for that. Now, that's not to discredit by any means Google and what they're doing, because from my opinion, and I have a valid opinion in this because I've actually achieved my uh, Google or my um, CompTIA Security Plus certification a few years ago as well. And I could tell you just from, you know, the learning material that CompTIA offered at an additional price because that was included in what I did with them, I didn't have to pay additional for that. I would never have paid additional for that because it was not worth it. I think it was like an extra three or $400 just to tack onto that certification cost, which is absolutely ridiculous. And their training sucked. Like it did, it sucked. Sorry, CompTIA, your training blows. I went to IT Pro TV and I went to Professor Messer. IT Pro TV was like 40 bucks a month at the time and Professor Messer was free. And that material right there blew away everything that CompTIA offered. Google, in their cybersecurity certificate, their training on point and it comes with it. So it's included in that price of $49 a month or whatever it is. And the training was good. The, the actual teachers, the instructors, they were good, they were engaging, they entertained me and they taught me and I learned something. And what I think was most important about, um, or, or what I should really kind of drive home, if you will, the difference between the two, because the, you know, in, in all fairness, again, Security Plus certification, just an exam. The Google certificate, however, that learning experience, that learning experience is huge. It is worth 
every penny that you spend on that subscription. Hopefully you can get it done within a month so you can save yourself a bunch of money. But if you go two months and you spend a hundred bucks, the value of the knowledge that you're gaining from that is clutch. And I say this because what Google has done with the cyber certi security certificate, I, that's like a mouthful and I apologize. Like I keep trying to like say it and I probably caught myself a few times, but that is a mouthful, Google, get it together. Anyway, that learning experience is actually gearing you up for a job. It's gearing you up for an entry level cybersecurity job, teaching you about Sims and logs and Wireshark and all of those things, which is phenomenal. That's exactly what you need to really get hands on and get started in this field where CompTIA doesn't offer that. Or if they do offer that, it's at a ridiculous price that just, like it's not affordable for everybody and the training sucks. So do you see what I'm getting at here, right? However, again, it's gonna go back to that marketability standpoint. We can't deny the fact that people recognize that certification. So obtaining that certification, it's never going to be a bad thing. If you can afford that and, and achieve that, congratulations and good for you. That's gonna be great for you. If you can't, that's okay too. I honestly feel like the Google experience is going to be much better for you. It's really going to get you much more hands-on with what you need to know. And that's just gonna provide a, honestly, a better learning experience. So at the end of the day, like if you had to do one, I don't know what I would tell you because I would tell you to do both if you could. Like I, I would start with the Google cybersecurity certificate because it's cheaper. It's the cheaper option. And the learning material that you'll get there can definitely help you out with the Security Plus. It'll definitely be useful for you. But that learning experience is going to be much better. You're going to achieve, I think, a lot more. You could actually do projects, complete projects, document those projects as, after you're going through the Google Cybersecurity Certificate training material, right? It, it's honestly like, this, and this isn't sponsored by either one of these companies by any means. So this is just my honest... 100% like, here's my opinion and feedback on, on both of these. They're both very valuable in their own way. But at the end of the day, depending on where you're at in your career, might really help kind of dictate which one you should be going after first or at your current, you know, trajectory or current journey, wherever you're at in that journey, you know? I would say if you're in a, just going back to the beginner part of it, if you are more entry level, just starting out, the Google uh, learning route, it's going to be a much better experience. You're going to walk away with much more clarity and confidence because at the end of it, you don't have to go through an exam to validate whether you know your stuff or not. And I can be one to actually tell you how frustrating it can be to go and spend countless hours of time studying for an exam, to go in, sit down for that exam, take it, and get the results saying, hey, you failed. That's what I went through the first time I took my Security Plus certification. I failed it. I did. I've talked about it many times. It was not an easy certification at all. But I went back, got on Professor Messer, got on the IT Pro TV, and went back and crushed it, you know? But that first initial time is defeating. That can defeat you. And it sucks because you just spent $400 to take a certification exam that you failed and now you're out 400 bucks. And that sucks because CompTIA does not have a free retake and they should be ashamed at themselves for that, for sure. I won't get into that. But anyway, if you fail it, then you got to pay another $400 to try to pass it again. F that. Go after the Google cybersecurity certificate first, crush that thing out of the park, and then if you need to go after that CompTIA Security Plus, go for it then. But you'll at least be starting, you'll, you'll start towards that, that certification exam with the knowledge um, that you gained from Google, which again, I think is phenomenal and it'll be helpful for you. At the end of the day, they're both very good. One, again, seen much more by, by many more people. It's very, very, uh, very well known. That's the best way that I could put it. A lot of organizations know the Security Plus and they put a lot of value on that. 
Not as many organizations are familiar with the Google Cybersecurity Certificate, but that's not to say that it's a bad certificate to take. It's an amazing and learning experience, and many more organizations are starting to see the value in that. Just a couple of years ago when the certification, when the Google Cybersecurity Certificate came out, of course, there was no listings, and I keep track of these things. I love to see how many job postings there are for uh, different certifications or different um, titles, if you will. And I have been looking at the Google Cybersecurity Certificate, and to see it at over 1,000 job postings now is actually phenomenal. That is telling me that it is gaining ground. That's over 1,000 organizations right now that are seeing value in that certificate, and it's only a few years old. So it's only going to keep getting better. Now, honestly, like this might, you could talk crap to me for this. You could, you can literally talk crap in the comments below for what I'm about to do to you, but I wouldn't be doing this unless I honestly felt like it was the right thing to do. I truly feel like Google does a great job. CompTIA, they do, they do an all right job. You know, they're, they're, they're all well known. They do have good material, but when you're really honestly trying to learn what it takes to be effective like 100% effect, well, I would say close to 100% effective in a job role, especially like an entry level cybersecurity job role. I honestly don't think there's any better class or training than you can take that you can take um, other than John Strands. Now, again, talk crap to me because I work for this company. They're not sponsoring this by any means, but an anti siphon training, we do pay forward what you can training. It starts at $0. $0 for live training. It's all hands-on. You get access to virtual labs. So if you don't have a computer power enough, powerful enough to run a virtual machine, we give you access to virtual labs so you can follow along. And John does this SOC core skills class. This SOC core skills class far, far exceeds Google and CompTIA combined. Because in this 16 hour class, which starts at $0 again, and you get access to the labs, you get your hands on the keyboard. You're following along with John, doing all the fun hacky hack things. You're learning how to defend against networks and how, how uh, offensive security people are attacking networks. You actually get your hands on the keyboard to do these things though. So you get a little bit of that methodology, but the best learning experience, especially when it comes to technology, especially these days and age, like this day and age, I should say, I'm terrible with my words today, I'm leaving it all in. It's just getting your hands on the keyboard, getting familiar with these tools, these technologies. There's no better way to do that than by following along with an expert and doing that. So yeah, talk crap to me because this was like a total like plug for that. But in my heart of hearts, I know, I believe that this training is better than Google and CompTIA, like hands down. And it's fun and it's exciting and it's free. You can't beat that. So yeah, that was probably like the worst plug that I've ever done in my entire life, but I wanted it to be like as true, genuine, authentic as I could possibly be. So there's no cuts, there's no nothing. This is just me, my genuine face. Maybe I'll put something on the side of the screen. But if you're looking for training, I think that's where it's at. I think the entire training industry needs a big shift in how things are being done. I don't think certifications or certificates are always going to be the gold standard. I don't think that that's gonna be consistent as we're going forward through uh, these new new days of IT and, and these constant change of things, right? The best way to get yourself hired outside of, you know, like these certificates and certifications, which can be helpful, is marketing yourself, it's networking. It's like social networking, it's joining communities, being part of Discord communities, which there are tons of amazing Discord communities out there that focus on IT, cybersecurity, cloud programming, everything, all of the things. Join those, be part of the community. That's how you get noticed. That's how you get job placement these days. It's a weird thing, I know, but just go out there and do it. Get on Discord, get on LinkedIn, connect with the community, go to meetup.com, Find a meetup in your area. Just connect with people. That's what it's all about. So anyway, I don't know if I need to sum up this video. 
I guess to, to finalize, like, what are your thoughts? Are you, are you team Google or are you team CompTIA? That's what I want to know. Maybe I'll put this in the beginning of the video because I want to know before we even begin. Like, who do you prefer? You'll find links in the description that talk about the Google Cybersecurity Certificate, the CompTIA Security Plus, and John, and John Strand's SOC Core Skills class. If you have any other questions, comments, hit me up below. Love to hear from you guys. As always, take it easy.